Raptors in numbers red trim. Demons from right to left, drop of the puck. And Jason Patriziak just off the tip of his stick tries to move it forward, but Steel City on the attack with MJ Graham between the points, flicks it towards the left of Dustin Carlson. And the loose puck comes back the other way. It's a shot and it's a goal. 13 seconds in, Steel City pounces on top. That is MJ Graham with the strike. MJ Graham, his 14th goal of 2014, 2015, and 15 seconds in, Coach Ryan Huggett's Warriors lead the Demons one to nothing. His 14th of the season, as we're 20 seconds into the game, that is also our first shot on goal, it is brought to you by the fine folks of Doors Galore. We welcome you home. They're the official sponsor of the shots on goal and bones. Meanwhile, Aiken flips it, tie game! Robert Van Weinsberg with an assist. Van Weinsberg, far side of the ice, connects with August Aiken and the Californian Demon Pours it past Brian Kalzinski to tie things up at one. Lend me your uh, foam skulls, brought to you by Stringfield Urology, as they're making their way on the ice. I love, I love this. I love what the demons have done with the uh, foam skulls on the ice. I love as the demons throw them on the ice. It makes for a very unique scene. It looks kind of like the skulls are half frozen between the concrete underneath the ice and on top of the surface. So Captain Brian Marks picks a winning skull and Bones says, hey, this person has won some fabulous prizes. August Aiken with goal number 11 on the season and Robert Van Weinsberg with his 24th assist. And the Demons have tied this baby up at one apiece after MJ period. Nice pass up front Griffiths. Now over for Hansen. Hansen looking for the slot and score! The Demons by Mark Rivera, who pours in his sixth goal of the season. And the Demons take their first lead of the game, two to one, with 8.07 to go in the first. And now stopped by the skates of Scott. A Warrior knocked down, MJ Graham comes in with it, quickly swapped away by Robert Van Weinsberg. And Van Weinsberg's on the chase against the lone defender, heading back towards Kalzinski. Van Weinsberg picks up the loose puck, goes and scores, Michael Hansen! Have a day, have a day. Michael Hansen, his first game as a Dayton Demon, picked up in the waiver wire after Danville put him there. And he picks up his first point as an assist with the Demons and his first goal here in Dayton, Ohio. And the Demons lead three to one, three unanswered goals for the black, red, and white with 5.39 to go in the first period. Shot in the slot off a warrior body, possibly Jake Slim, as Van Weinsberg comes up with Aiken Mafus. Nice save, but score! <laughs> it's Robert Van Weinsberg with the putback. Cam Weinsberg, the player of the month for the last of 2014. In 10 games, he had 10 goals, 12 assists for 22 points, and the V12 train just keeps chugging along. The Demons now lead four to one over Steel City with 2.28 to go in our first period. To the left, Cam Weinsberg, he looks. Mafu's up front, Hicks to the right. Mafu's, Hicks, score!
That was some very crisp tic-tac-toe in front of Brian Kalzinski. As the Demons pour it on with another goal, it's five to one. Dayton the score, 153 to go in the first period and the shots favor the home team, 25 to eight. Uh, wait a minute, the referee talking over two Warriors, two linesmen in the conversation as well. Greg Left talking to Ahmed Mathus, one of the alternate captains of the Demons who are anchored by Brian Marks. He got the C last year, Brian Marks did. As right now the two linesmen make the way, the referee goes to the scoreboard hole. Right now the scoreboard reads four to one. As Kalzinski stretches over his crossbar, and that will count as they put five on the board. But the referee still talking it over. We'll have a face off center ice, and the Demons do indeed lead five to one. As Kalzinski now 20 saves on 25 Demon shots, the Warriors slam it forward. The score hits with his 10th of the season. Five to one, Dayton to score, 140 to go in the first period. And the Mafu strikes with another point. O'Malley take away to the far faceoff circle, score! O'Malley sets it up for Nicola Levesque. Levesque picks up his seventh goal this season as Anthony O'Malley, he picks up his sixth assist. And it's now five to two, Dayton, 132 to go in the first period. And just shy of 20 minutes, we have seen seven, count them, seven goals between these two squads. Part of the West Division of the Federal Hockey League, which normally that has no implications other than scheduling. 2014, the Midwest Junior Hockey League. Ronsberg now goes for a shot, deflected away from Kalzinski. Mafu's on the ice, looking for a Ronsberg score! Kalzinski left the door open on the left side. Ronsberg had a great pass from Ahmed Mafuz, and the Demons lead by four once more. Six to two, Dayton, 18.56 to go in the second. Kalzinski, but he can't hold it in. Kalzinski quickly back up. He lost his goalie stick, however, as Kalzinski leans in, both hands up, score! Give Brian Kalzinski all the credit in the world. His goalie stick behind his net. He tried his very best to combat the puck, but Ronsberg between the points would not be denied, and Dayton leads by five. It's seven to two, Demons, 13-22 left in the second. Mafus, Mafus far side of the ice. Van Weinsberg behind two, Van Weinsberg, shot and score! The Demons pour it past Brian Kalzinski, and it's now an eight to two Demons lead with 11.48 to go in our second period. Hansen's towards his right, Marks goes towards his left. Far face off circle time for Marks, shoots it, and scores! The Demons have struck four times in the second period. Brian Marks angles it past Brian Kalzinski, and the captain has himself a goal, his eighth on the year. And Dayton leads nine to two with 11 minutes to go in the second period. And the shots on goal favor the Demons, 40 to 13. 
trying to jam it through. And Steel City pokes it through and takes it the other way. Meanwhile, a takeaway. August Aiken's got it again. Far face off circle. Aiken pushed away. Now Marks. Marks. Sot score! <laughs> And for the first time in quite a while, the Demons have scored double digit goals. Used to be a thing during Coach Lefebvre's time. The last time I can remember, it was the New York Bluefins in town. Also, I can tell you about the time the Demons blanked the Thousand Island Privateers in the first year of operations, 11 to nothing. And the Demons, for the first time in a while, have scored double digit goals. And Brian Marks has his second tonight. It's 10 to two, Dayton, two and a half to go in the second period. Back the other way is Hicks. He's in the far corner. He flushes out, looks for Moff, who's at the bench. Van Weinsberg now takes a one on one. Aiken now approaches, now two on two. Aiken, score! It's now a battle for the hats as August Aiken throws his name in the ring with Robert Van Weinsberg, Seth Ronsberg, and Brian Marks. The Demons now lead by nine, it's 11 to two. Steel City with three former Danville Dashers, Levesque, Scully, and Edgar Zolzlins, as there's a score! Rivera! And Mark Rivera puts his name in the ring. He would like a hat trick. He's got his second. Now that's five Demons with two goals tonight. And the Demons lead by 10 at 12 to two. 13.37 to go in our third period. Here's Mafu swings away from MJ Graham. Mafu swings it, Aiken scores! The Demons strike again. They pour a shorthander goal on Steel City, and it's now 13 to two, Dayton. By Rivera, settled down by the Warriors, and they will stop behind the cage of Dunn. That is their final score. The Dayton Demons 13, Steel City Warriors two. Dayton improves to 17-7-2 on the season. Steel City falls to 2-20-2 as the Warriors give up 13 goals to the Demons. Dayton's team makes their way on center ice. They're preparing their sticks to lift them as high as they can towards the Hare Arena scoreboard. They will acknowledge their fans like they always do here at Hare Arena. Sticks up and the Demons they love the fans that made it out tonight. We'll be back for a post-game show sponsored by Premier Health. Your three stars of the game are after as well. You're listening to the Gem City Sports Network and watching live on FHL Live, presented to you by Point Streak. Today, my new dad threw a barbecue. I burnt everything. Ah! And then we played catch. I broke Mr. Lewis's window. And then, somehow, my hand. My hand! And then my dad even let me drive his car. The hospital's on the right! It was a rough day. It was a great day. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. For more information on how you can adopt, visit adoptuskids.org slash OH. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. 
A ranger station. I'd like to report a bear hug. Okay. I put out my campfire and Smokey Bear hugged me. So you drowned the fire, you stirred it, drowned it again, and felt that it was cold? Uh-huh. Yeah, but he's just letting you know you did good. Bear hug from Smokey Bear. Status update. I'm gonna let you go now. There are many ways to start a fire, but one sure way to put it out. Learn how you can do your part at SmokeyBear.com. Sponsored by the U.S. Forest Service Ad Council and your state forester. Ranger Station. Yeah, hi. I'd like to report a bear sighting in the forest. Uh -huh. One second I'm having a smoke. Next thing I know, I'm face to face with Smokey Bear. Wow. And he told me it only takes one spark to start a wildfire. Did you know nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans? I had no idea. That's why Smokey's famous and you're not. If you see someone in danger of starting a wildfire, step in and make a difference. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Learn more at SmokeyBear.com. Only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, parents of children with asthma, here's the Breathe Easies with another one of your favorite hits. Don't smoke in the house. Don't smoke in the house. Don't smoke around the kids. In the house. Don't smoke in the car. Don't smoke in the house. Don't break my heart. Preventing asthma attacks can be as simple as making your home and car smoke-free zones. For more Breathe Easy tips to help stop asthma attacks, go to noattacks.org. Up next, well, what do you know? The Breathe Easies with another hit song, Vacuum Up the Floor. Vacuum up the floor. Hey! Vacuum up the floor. Yeah! Vacuum up the floor. The asthma trigger is no more. You gotta vacuum up the furniture and vacuum in the cracks because the dander and the dust can give kids asthma attacks. Simple steps can help your kids breathe easier. Vacuum up the floor to keep your house free of dust.